Well, howdy folks, how's it going today? Hope you guys are all doing really good. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, Penco classical guitar here. This one belongs to me. I've had it for a number of years, uh, probably close to 20 years or so. I'm not really sure where I picked it up, but it's a really nice sounding instrument. Uh, so Penco, you notice there's only one N in Penco. Now, Penco was the Pennsylvania Guitar Company, okay? Now, you notice the serial number is really low, too, 249. And uh, rumor has it, when they first started out uh, selling these, the uh, label was misprinted, only one N. And uh, they just stuck them on anyway because they wanted to sell them and get them out the door. So the early ones uh, only have one N. Okay, it's got a nice spruce top, uh, mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, really nice stuff, really pretty. Uh, all around, it's a really nice sounding guitar. So, what we're going to do here today, we've got some cracks in the uh, finish, and I'm going to probably pump these full of fish glue and just make sure they're not going to keep moving. Uh, this is from drying out, folks, you know. You can even see the rosette has some uh, witness lines here as well. So, you know, I've had this for a long time. And this is kind of how it was uh, when I first got it. But I did notice this one has grown probably a half inch. Uh, you know, and there's a couple little ones here that have kind of started to show up. Now... You know, I've kept this in a case, tried to uh, humidify it and, you know, keep it at least where it was when I obtained it. So uh, we're just going to cut the strings off here. I'm going to stick my hand up inside, see if I can feel any uh, crack from the underside. And I'll also probably stick a light in there just to... Uh, See if I can see any light coming up through the cracks, and that'll kind of let you know if it's just in the finish or if it's cracked right through the uh, top itself. So uh, the first order of business, we're going to get rid of these strings, and uh, we'll uh, see if we can fit our hand in there. I don't know. My hand's probably too big to go in there, so we may have to just use a mirror. Whatever it takes, folks. Okay, let's get going. All right, let's get rid of the strings. Okay, new baby's been on there a long time too, so uh, I'm just gonna cut them off, <clears throat> get rid of them, put a new set on, all right. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day today. And uh, again, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the uh, videos I put up yesterday. That was a lot of work going through those cases. Holy cow. You forget how many uh, you actually have until you, you know, unbuckle about 150 latches at once okay nice rosewood bridge on here too uh, as far as getting my hand in there well I really can't stick it in too far but one thing I am going to do is push down on the uh, crack and see you know, if it closes up when you push down or if, if one side comes up and one goes down, that's another way to tell. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is just tap on this. Just to see if I hear any loose braces anywhere. sounds pretty good if they uh, if they were loose you would hear 
it sound kind of like a a drum head that's you know wrinkled or something it'll just have that bar kind of weird sound uh that sounds good so what we're gonna do here let me get out my uh my glue pump okay this is my little uh thing I use to uh, patch cracks with. Now, you'll see a lot of guys take a suction cup and they'll push the glue down through, which does work. Uh, I find this works better for me though, because I can hold that on the crack and put constant pressure on that and really drive it through there. And the other thing is, when you when I get ready to uh, pick it up off the guitar, it's not going to pull the glue back out like a suction cup will. I mean, yeah, it'll pump glue through there, but when you pull that up, it's going to pull some of it with it. So if I hold uh, constant pressure on the ball, I can, uh, you know, pick that up without uh, taking glue with it. So this is just my method. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, you could use thin super glue, which that's not really ideal unless you want to really be meticulous about, you know, getting the finish uh, right and not getting glue on the finish around it. It's almost impossible. Uh, so I like to use fish glue. It, uh, it kind of blends in and... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say you're not going to see any cracks because you're still going to see them, but with a top this color, fish glue does, I think it's a good choice. It'll kind of hide in there, hopefully. So I'm using Bench Q fish glue. Uh, the sticker came, well, it's not it's still on there, but you can't read it. Uh, it's good stuff. I get this from, uh, place on eBay and uh, it comes from Searsport, Maine, which is pretty cool too. Okay, so we got some fish glue on there. We're going to start right over here. There's some, uh, there's a few different cracks over here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get this uh, on the surface of the guitar. So the suction cup is always, uh, you know, in the fish glue. And I'm just going to give it a pump. Let it take some in. I mean, it'll blow that suction cup right off the top. And it's not... Uh, it's not going to take it back out as long as you hold pressure on the, uh, the squeeze ball here. All this is is a suction cup. I melted a hole through the middle of it. Took some clear gas line. You could probably use a rubber ball or whatever you got kicking around. And... Uh, it works really well. And once in a while, it'll it will pull some in there, but that's okay. It takes it right back out pretty fast as well. Uh, it'll push it right out through there. So again, this is just uh, my method. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it. In no way, shape, or form am I saying this is the ultimate way. But it works good for me, so I'm going to continue to use it. Okay, so uh, nice thing about fish glue is it uh, cleans up really easy. You can just take some uh, a cloth with some water on it. And I'm just going to kind of gently uh, wipe that away, especially from the bridge. I don't want it piling up in there, and uh, I'm just going to wipe the rest of it away. And I'm trying to kind of just stay on each side of these cracks, so it does actually get some in there. I don't want to wipe it away, so. And uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the cleanup at this point. Fish glue uh, is very easy to clean up. You just take a cloth with a little bit of water on it again. And uh, you should be good to go. Now, again, I mean, you just want enough to uh, to actually uh, span the uh, diameter of this uh, suction cup. 
so it's always uh, in in the glue and that's what you want to be pushing in so I mean I can hold constant pressure on there too and just uh, leave it right there and you're guaranteed it's gonna go through the crack there's no two ways around it if you notice it is leaving glue so I'm not just uh, pushing you know air in there it's always in a big puddle of glue so it has no other way to go but inside that crack okay that doesn't look too bad I got a little one over here so I'm just gonna kind of shuffle a little of that glue over towards it and give her a big push that's another little trick you can do too uh, you get some pressure applied on there just hold it and you can kind of slide your suction cup right along too which works well uh, you know I haven't tr like unlocked all the techniques yet but I'm learning uh, like I said this is my method it works really well for me uh, you may want to try something different and that's fine if you stumble onto something cool let me know I'm always open for uh, new tricks of the trade that's why I kind of share these with with you guys I just want to uh, you know give back as much as I can okay so just get a little bit more off there and like I said there might be a little haze of uh, fish glue on here after it's done but that's okay it will clean up with some uh, some water and uh, a nice clean cloth okay so that takes care of them uh, there's a few more I gotta kind of turn the guitar to see them that one there is pretty good pretty much full and there's one bad one up here in front so I'm gonna try that one next you know you do waste some fish glue but you know I just put a daub on there about the size of the suction cup and that's plenty because you're just filling this little gap but okay All right, just make sure you pick up on it. If you're, if you're using one of these, right before you, you know, run out of air in your ball, you want to pick it up. And that will guarantee that it's not going to uh, suck any back out. So basically, that's all I'm doing here is just kind of holding steady pressure. Yeah, that must have got her filled up right there. I think we, we're good to go. And uh, just going to wipe off the excess here as best we can. Like I said, I'll, I'll be back to uh, give this a good cleaning after we uh, get all the uh, cracks taken care of. And we'll be in good shape, hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to try to... Clean these ones up around the rosette here best I can. There's just a few little places that I want to take a little care to uh, kind of fix. That's going to be about enough glue. And uh, again, you know, this is just preventative maintenance. It's already started to move and crack, so it's time to stop it. Uh, let me look around the uh, the rest of the rosette looks pretty good so I think we'll be all right just kind of filling these in one little crack right there as well uh, that's pretty much all I can see there is one back here too uh, yeah take care of that 
Uh, you know, it's hard to see them in the light. Uh, there is one over here that needs a little love, too. Okay. All right. So I think the best thing for me to do right now is uh, go wash off this uh, pump. I'm just going to rinse it out with water, and that's all you need to do. And uh, before I do that, I'll clean this up real quick. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of letting it dry. And then, like I said, I'll be back with a, uh, a cloth to uh, get any that's, you know, left over on the top. Like I said, it'll clean right up nice. Uh, it just takes a second. It's not like super glue. That's why I recommend... Uh, fish glue it just works a lot better it saves you a ton of time and it holds really well fish glue hardens up just like I mean it's like super strong and uh, really really hard there's no give to it at all so uh, it's not pliable I guess is what I'm getting at uh, and like I said if you're just getting into this kind of stuff you might want to get some. It's just, uh, it'll save you a lot of headaches in the end. Okay, guys, well, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll dig you out of the old, uh, camera holster here and let you guys take a peek. Okay, so, you know, you can still see the cracks, but uh, it's not going to hide anything. It's just going to make sure they stay... Uh, put for a little longer is all. Uh, good uh, cleaning. You know, there's still some resi residual like glue film you can see. Uh, this top's really shiny, so that'll all get cleaned up. And, uh, you know, around the rosette, you can see where it's kind of filled it in. You know, it's not a miracle worker, but you have to do it if you don't it's just going to keep splitting and cracking uh so i hope that helps hope you guys uh enjoyed the uh glue pump thing i got it sitting on the stand here taking a pat and i i rinsed it out with water really good and uh she'll be ready for another one anytime once it dries out uh again it's a pretty cool little hack and it's easy to make and, uh, you know, if you get some fish glue and a glue pump like I just showed you, you're in. You can, uh, you know, patch cracks. If it does crack through the top, uh, I mean, you'll have to put something inside there to catch the glue with that pump because that'll drive it right through there. I'm not kidding you. Uh, works really well. Now, these weren't uneven. If they were, then... I would have done the same procedure as pump some fish glue through there and then possibly cleat it and uh, glue those in. You could do that with magnets as well to hold them in place uh, or a long clamp. There's all kinds of different ways to go about it. Sometimes you have to make it up on the fly too. So uh, you gotta have, you got to have an imagination working on these things. It's just the way it goes. Well, thanks again, folks. Uh, I'm going to let that dry a little more, and then I'll clean it up and uh, find some strings for it. And we're going to look the frets over. They don't feel bad, but at least polish them up, clean them up, oil the fretboard, and, uh, you know, let this thing get a little humidity for a few days, too. Okay, guys, see you soon. Thanks again. Be good. Okie doke.